How's that taste? Mm. How does that taste? That's really good. Mm. <laughs> that Sorry. That's so good. It tastes like a normal kebab. Mm. So How's that taste, Sherry? So nice. That's so tasty. Curry ketchup's good. really good. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, Let's go so in. Look at that. It's like a little work of art, isn't it? Mm. Good luck, Heather. It's a mega sour lemon plume. <laughs> 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 it's really sour. Good morning, Amrit. How are you? Hello, good. How are you? Very, very well. What's going on today? A shoot going on with Black Skull with my sister. Your sister? Who's sister. your sister? Her man. She does YouTube and Instagram. Oh, yeah. So I thought she would be a good fit, Black Skull. Yeah, are you like her agent? Did you get her in? I'm not her agent, no. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> I made it all happen. You're the mastermind behind yeah. the operation. Yeah. So what's the product today? Seven outfits. My weekend looks, outfits. Yeah, my weekend outfits. Blazers, good matching co-ops. Oh, that looks pretty toasty for a day like today, if I'm honest. Yeah, I know. Linen. Blazers. Quite a few co-ops. This is quite... Thank you, very summery. exciting. Good Hi. morning, Chardonnay Collins. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? All the better for seeing you I'm on this just, wonderful day. I'm just saying, literally, nothing is worse than we walk in late and with a coffee. I know. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. We're not that sorry, are we? I was on time and then the coffee. Very selfish. What's going on today? Today we are shooting with Kim, which is so exciting. Hi, Kim. Hello. We're going to go on a bit of a tour of London. All over London today? All over London. Have you done well, some location scouting? We've done a route. Are we going to go on one of those buses right at the top? Absolutely not. Oh, that's nice, Jess. I've seen that before. Where's it from? It's Johannesburg. You go to Buckingham Palace. We're going to Buckingham Palace. Oh, it looks like a little bit urban, a little bit tough. It's contrasted with Hollister on this show. Obviously, that is super crappy. So we want to really contrast, edge it up. Not that Buckingham Palace. It's gonna be cooler in the edit. Super snappy. Kim, like getting on the tube every day outfit and then coming out full sass oh, outfit on. Look like she's just walking through London and the outfits change. TikTok style. It's gonna be really cool. You excited? I'm very excited. I've never done anything like this before. So how would you describe your signature style? Girly, but also oversized, oh, silhouette. Yeah, Sometimes. I don't know, I mix it up, my style changes all the time. Who compiled the looks for today? It was a combination yeah, was of the two. Amrit obviously knew Kim's style, so mm -hmm. it was a collab. Charlotte yeah. X Amrit. That's it. <laughs> I think it was just that, but then I got a white bag as well. I love that, that's so cool. What's happening right now? Kim is doing a try on, so we're going to just check how all the looks look on. Hey, no, I just want to finish showing my basic tea next door. I was like, oh, I'm filming today. I'll let you crack on, but you look great. I'm so excited. I'm literally, Charlotte sent through her tour guide stop sign. <laughs> Oh, and I was like, I'm so excited. Look too. I think it's a necklace, but otherwise that's pretty cool. Look at that bag. What look was that? that was what do you think it looked too? So nice. It's got to love that pink blazer and a shell bag. Oh, cool. Maybe tuck it in, it's a bit love. Maybe just roll these, yeah. no, these shoulder shorts because they just look a bit, yeah. Like that. Do we have a bag with that, Amber? Oh, yeah. That's what we did. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I think a bag would just be helpful as like a prop. Is it in there? Top. With the other people got citrus. Charlotte, we're on tour today yeah, around we London. Are. Where are we going? Seven locations, kind of in a loop pretty much. We'll see how we go timing wise. It'll be great to do all seven, but if we only manage to do five, we do five. Start with Royal Albert Hall, then on to Buckingham Palace, then Oxford Circus, Leicester Square, Fowler Square, Houses of Parliament, London Eye. So these last two get a bit kind of great if we can add them, but maybe slightly gimmicky. So if not, not the other ones. And have you got all the info, the fun facts about each location? Absolutely not. Cute! Oh, I really like that. Yeah. Cool. Great. Okay, fab. So Kim, you've tried on all the outfits. What do you think? Loving it. Is Loving it all of them. Do you think your sister's done a good job? She has, I'll give it to her. You looking forward oh. to your tour of London? Yeah, I feel like I've not been oh, around London like properly looking yeah. at all the sites, seeing things. We're going full <laughs> tourist today. Have you seen the I've list of locations? I've been listening. Royal Albert Hall. I've never been there That's really nice. Buckingham Palace. Loads of fun I'm places. Excited. It's gonna be a fun morning. It's been a while since I've seen the sites, you know. I suggested it for the shoot, but it was really all for me. Do you suggest this? This is your idea. What's your favourite London landmark? I genuinely don't have an answer for you. Right. What's your favourite London landmark? Buckingham Palace, Tower Bridge. Albert Bridge. Piccadilly Circus. Just like the big billboard. I find nowhere more awe inspiring than Trafalgar Square. So colossal. There's so much space around that always makes me catch my breath a bit. So probably Trafalgar Square. Kim, what number outfit is this? Outfit number one. And what are you wearing now? Zara. Really nice. How old? Crop blazer and then this bag. Mango. I feel like this is a bit of a mood pillar. I think we should go to the memorial and do it there instead. Wow, she looks so small from over here. <laughs> <It's tiny. laughs> I think it's really cool. Okay, walk across. Yeah. What do you like about this outfit? Oh, it's so cool. This is why I wish I was young still. I just love the crop jacket. Contemporary way to do suits. It's very cool. Great. We got it? We got it. Look one, done. Ooh. In my head, I was on the runway. Yeah, I like the way that you were like, completely unfazed, people goggling around. I'm used to it because I've got to get Instagram pictures and people always look at me. I'm like, oh, whatever. And now we're heading to Buckingham Palace. We're going to we're Buckingham gonna see Palace the Queen. Before? Have we been in contact with the, the royal household? Oh, yeah, the Queen's going to make a cameo. She's up for us. She's a luxe girl. She's a luxe girl. So you've never been here before? No. What do you think of the Queen's house? I just love it. Would you like to move in? Yeah. They've got a room available for me. The black means she's home. I think so, yeah. Well, it's all the way up. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe she's in there. Like, 
Well, I'm yeah. a star actually. <laughs> what number outfit's this? Outfit number two. And what are you wearing now? This is Nasty Girl. First, she's got ASOS, ASOS, Zara Heels. Zara. I like the pink. Brings out the girliness for me and the bag. The bag is insane. so cute. And okay. I'm vlogging for my sister. You've been a vlogger today. Um, How cool. I love taking it off her vlog. Everyone loves me on her channel. Oh really? Yeah. What do you think of this bag? I think it's hilarious. It's funny, fun. but it's so cute. Yeah, it's well. so cute. I love it. Horse fan? I mean, now I am. I'm trying to think of fun things we can do. Yeah. Stand in front of this pillar. Do a kind of, you know, stand to attention thing. Yeah. Do you want to walk up to the camera and like put your bag yeah. into the... But what about an almost like... Oh, if that group of girls would just move. Okay, go quickly. Are they happy? How's the shoot going, Charlotte? I'm literally loving this. It's so fun. Look at that. Yeah, Dramatic fun. backdrop. Incredible. Slightly concerned about time, but generally good. good. We got it? Yeah. Look number two in the bag. Kim Man, monument number two. Which one's in the lead so far? Number one. Number one? Yeah, just because I've never seen that before. Do you know where we're going next? No idea, actually. W1B3AG. Oxford Circus, Leicester Square, Trafalgar Square. That's our next three stops. All quite nice and near one another. So if we're going to hold an outfit, we've got suit, skirt and heels. Should we do the blue? This one? Stripey? Yeah. Yeah, really nice. I say we do the shorts with the vintage tee. Oh, and then the pyjama suit. Pajama yeah. Okay, hello, but just so she can get changed. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. That's right, yeah. Do it like right in the middle of the street. All the people, yeah. buses, the people, the taxis. It'll be good. We'll just get some amazing sassy shots strutting up and down that middle section. Lots of posing, lots of people, buses, hectic. It's going to be good. I think let's get her to do that. Behind the bus, and then she can then appear from behind another bus. Kim, what about outfit is this? Three. What are you wearing now? Zara, blue striped. Okay, Nike shoes, cute little white bag, and some sunglasses and a hat. You into it? I love it. This is very me. It's comfortable. You still look put together. I love this outfit. I've got something very similar myself. Great off duty look. Modern sporty. Stand on the other side of the bus and pose. We'll try and get a transition where we'll get another bus. Do you see what I mean? I know we've got a bit of hurry. Yeah, like up the stairs. It was really cool. The bus came back and you were just there. It was so much fun. So we'll do this and then try and get the bus shot and go. Once we've done four, then I'll feel a bit more comfortable. I just can't work out how much longer you've got. Do you know what I mean? What are you going to do in the middle of the road? Posing. Posing. So what, Kim is? Kim is. Yeah, the one. <laughs> yeah, glass gone. So let's ride into the middle. Just five seconds of being cool and posing. Good luck, Kim. It's been really, really lovely knowing you. Wow. That's All dedication right. to the cause, right? Still got 10 seconds. You've got, eight, you've got nine whole seconds. <laughs> okay, walk off, come back. Fearless. Bad. Great. <laughs> I survived. Do you want to try that bus W1J, nine, H for hair, P for princess. Next stop, Piccadilly Circus. Uh, maybe we yeah, going down to the station. And then so she comes out in Oxford Circus. Love it. Uh, what outfit's this? Number four. four. And what are you wearing now? Graphic tee, stress shorts, and some heels. Found a great bag. Where's the bag from? Mango. I love this outfit. I just think it's so cool, but also a bit glam, a bit sassy. It's like the perfect day to night outfit. Let's take the tube stop, go from that side of it. You might be able to get some of this in the background. Yeah. How's it looking? Yeah, of course, it's super cool. Nice that the sun's come out now as well, she looks amazing. Between sheer Lux and Lux Girl, there's not a huge age difference. But the disparity between like how many young girls there are for Lux Girl who like look the part, fit the part, know how to pose, yeah. versus how relatively few there are for sheer Lux is so interesting. There's such a difference in these kind of 10 years in how people know how to use social media, work it, yeah. style themselves. Like it's just so different. It's literally a generation of girls who know how to do this shit. Maybe just like lean up, like hang out, glasses on, glasses on. Towards me and then just like go off, off the camera. So cool. We got it. got it. How did that go? That was so good. What a treat. But it was great. Kim is such a pro. All the actors looked amazing. Weather's been beautiful. Landmarks have all been trouble free. So good. Ah! Bye guys, have fun. Good morning, Charlotte. Lake. Collins, how are you? <laughs> You. Great. How was your weekend? It's lovely, thank you. Great. What's happening today? Georgie's not around for the next few days. She's always a little quieter when she's not here. That's but strange. Kind of Correlation. Um, I can possibly say I think everybody's going to be using this week as a chance to get their heads down a little bit, which is why it's super quiet. It's also very rainy. It's a very Monday Monday today. I mean, summer. It's the longest day of the year today. Mm. Summer solstice. Happy summer solstice. Um, Are you going to dress up in bed sheets and go to Stonehenge? Unlikely, but the day is young. And the day is long. There's a lot of this day left to go, so who knows? Just say on the news this morning that you couldn't even see the sunrise at Stonehenge because it was so rainy. Oh, poor Drew. Gorgeous. You know, it was light at 3 30 this morning. Oh, what were you doing? I had it on the news. I was obviously asleep. What is a typical work day for Charlotte Lake Holland? There is no typical work day. A lot of meetings, rushing to finish things with about 90 people chasing me for urgent things, like what, most people here. What's your favourite bit of content you're working on at the moment? It's probably Lux Girl this weekend. I got a very rough edit of our shoot with Kia, which looks epic. A wedding edition running. I put in the deadlines and then get to my own deadlines, and I'm like, fuck, I've done it. Quite a lot of work to do on that today. Got to have Ayana's shoot to prep for. Really exciting. Flip flops. The flip flops. 
So yeah, pretty busy all around. So what are you doing right now? Just finished a net Porter edit for the site for tomorrow. It's a quite a quick turnaround because they have a sales story booked for Tuesday. Things go fast. Things in the go sale. fast. Normally we would give a brand three day approval, but it's a quick turnaround today. Have you bought anything from the net sale? I've bought nothing. I'm buying a house, so I'm on a clothes hiatus. God knows when I'm next going to be buying clothes. It's clothes all. I'm just to sit on currently. So has anybody bought anything from the net sale? I don't think so. Lou, have you bought anything from the net sale? No, I haven't actually. I rarely buy something in the sale and end up keeping it. The reason why I didn't buy it full price is probably because I don't really like it. Lou, what's your day looking like? Good, busy. Monday is like predominantly meetings, catching up on the file for the week ahead. We've got Tara joining us as a she's work experience for three weeks. What's she going to be doing? It's going to be doing a little bit of everything sort of across the business. She's studying the same course I did at uni. She's got a real interest in fashion and design. Got a really, really great eye for design. Stalking her on Instagram and just like love her concepts that she put on Instagram. Really good eye. She's got a real interest and appetite for Let's Girl. So I think she'll be interesting to chat to her and see if she's got any ideas or cool people we could focus on. We've got a lot of shoot coming up. Parenting shoot with Sarah Corbett Wynn. Goal, Goal, shoot, Winnie, next shoot to think about. Mayors, next shoot about. Lots of shoots for So next week is looking for long. Every week's for long. It's a nice gentle way into Monday, I think, when the office is quite calm. Well, happy summer solstice. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. Hi, Tara. Hey, Tara, how are you doing? Hello. I'm good, thank you. Hi, nice to see you. So you're now finishing your second year? Yeah. How's it going? It's a bit weird because it's from home. Fully from home. Yes, they let us go in one day a week. It's not really like what I expected you need to be, just in your room. And you can't stand together, you have to wear masks, sit opposite one person, and you can't get up. It's a bit crazy. Oh. Our biggest project was focused on a brand that you could choose. It's like sustainability. And what did you do? Bash. And made like a pop up store and stuff so you could design all that and do the research. We were meant to do a fashion film at COVID. I made just like a little thing. Oh, like let's, see, let's see. Let's see. Oh, they would be okay. what they most like watching. Yeah. Doing. Also, get ready with me. And High Street Hall. Be the necklaces and stuff. Glasses chain. Cool. Great. Nice. So the Let's Go show goes live this week on Saturday. Maybe for the next few days you could sit downstairs with the market team. Yeah. I'll introduce you to Ali, senior designer, working on assets for the show, helping her out with design, getting for Daisy. Daisy is our social media coordinator, uh, helping Daisy out, run through your ideas with uh -huh. her. Having this week is more of a let's go yeah. focus. Next week you can come upstairs, maybe help out the content team, which should then yeah. be more sheer luck, and then we can kind of take it from yeah. there. Great. Okay, fab. So I'll take you downstairs. Okay, this is show space. Where we film once a week. Next door is the studio where yes. we do all of our shoots and things like that. And then this is the marketing team. Hey. Yeah. This is Tara, everyone. Hi. Mai is our marketing director. Ali is our senior designer. Ali is marketing exec. Daisy is social. Elle is our um, So you guys have met? Yes, we met this morning. So Tara, I've got a bit of appetite for Lux Girl. As this is a predominantly Lux Girl week, thought good for her yes. to sit downstairs yeah. so she can help Ali. Any ideas? Talking through the calendar. Logs that you've got, who you're reaching out to. Just really keen for Tara to get good experience what Let's Girl is about and kind of what goes into it for the week ahead of a launch date. Just here to help, so anything that you guys need. Yeah, we were just discussing this morning, making sure we had a really good strategy set in place before the show this Saturday. Mm -hmm. Teaser, countdown, really hyping it up. Cool, alright, great. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy. Uh, how did that go? Uh, oh, it's very good. It's always so nice to meet people who have got like, a genuine interest in show that Let's Girl. She's obviously just got really good talent. Great for her to get some experience. I think she'll be a great help. Tash, um, what are you working on right now? Right now, I'm doing a story for Needle and Thread. Very pretty. Are you needle and thread fan? I am. I don't actually own any pieces for needle and thread, but with love. Can I have a look? Ooh, okay, those are it. quite fun, right? Which yeah, one's pretty. your favourite? This one. Incredible. I mean, it helps that she's dropped her gorgeous. I just love the frills coming all the way down, and the sleeves are just so gorgeous. Fairy tale vibes, isn't it? It is. It really is. So, what's this like for? Easter. When's it running? It's running on Thursday. How yeah. long have you worked this year, Lux? Two months. How's it going? Pretty really good. Enjoying it? All day. I know, loving it. What are you working on right now? Waiting for Tash to send me needle and thread assets. Yeah. What are you going to do when you get the assets? Finish the story, send it for internal approval. It will go over to the client. They will hopefully approve it with no amends. Then it will go live on Thursday. How are you, Lovejoy? How are you? Very, very well. What are you working on right now? I'm just about to check a gold edition test. Oh yeah. Check the email's ready to go. Can I have a look yeah. at the story? So this is this How's it looking? Edition. Is it looking alright? Yeah, it's looking good. So I'm just checking that this matches the article and all the pictures are correct, all the links work, making sure that it's good to go. What is in the gold edition this week? Once a week, every Monday, regular features like Chapters of My Life, where we interview an inspiring person. And this week, we've got Animal Croft, Beauty Stories, Culture, Best Podcast to Listen to This Week, All the Best Vases to Buy at the Moment. Do you like a vase? I do. I love fresh flowers. I think my favourite, though, is this one. And it's pink, which is Great. And Cox and Cox for 30 yeah, quid. I think I'll be buying that later. Tips for saving. And then we've got our gold edit at the bottom. All in good. all the good. Yeah, it's good to go. Polly Visea, what are you working on right now? Adding some things to the Zara hits. What are the Zara hits? This 
sequined dress, Whoa. which is so jazzy. That is I fun. Mean, I can't tell if I like the image or the dress more. I defy anybody not to put that dress on and not have fun. Oh, yeah. Just like look at her on the beach. Just like a I know, you image. can see the kids yeah. in the background. Like one of them, I notice is going like, look at that lady yeah. in a cool mm. dress. That's me. Tag yourself. I'm that girl. Harry Russell, what are you working on right now? I'm writing podcast questions. A really exciting guest coming in to do one of our success stories. Who is it? Catherine Parsons. She founded Decoded Tech Company. Taught millions of companies employees who code in a day in 2014 she was the woman who got it introduced to the national curriculum wow so coding is on the national curriculum it's now part of the national curriculum Can you tell me a little bit about your mug <laughs> yes my mum bought this for me most people around here know me as sub editor so i like to think i do more than that this is an english grammar and punctuation mug it's probably the coolest thing i've ever seen and what's quite sad is that it's actually taught me things i don't know predicate yeah, tell subject me of meaning predicate what does that mean determines the meaning of the subject and contains the verb example the clown juggle clown is the subject juggled is the predicate so it comes after i thought predicate yeah. came before yeah. Yeah. Not. can i borrow that much yeah i know we all need it <laughs> abstract nouns joy life love peace fun. terrorism yeah i mean that's a great one rich well yeah. so yeah i keep it on my desk just in case anyone forgets what I do Megan Dean, what are you working on right now? I'm writing about Matt Hancock. Well, he's just said yeah. the bat. You know, those messages oh, yeah. are slightly rude. You are. Totally. Beep. Useless. Hopeless. But, Hopeless you know, yeah. they're interchangeable. At times of stress, people say all sorts of things in private, which is not a lie. But yeah, the public humiliation continues. Poor old Miss Hancock. Sherry, what are you working on right now? Feature for the Gold Supplement. Seven city breaks to take in the UK. And where's the best one? Well, my yeah. personal favourite would be a bar. Or Let's go for Cambridge. It's a lovely, lovely weekend bridge. away. For a slightly more mature woman. A lovely weekend. You can spend there. Going on the river, going to the museum. Take a punt. Exactly. It's lovely. Lots of history as well. So if you're a history buff, big into literature, then chef's kiss. And bath as well for pretty similar reasons, right? Yeah, lovely architecture. It's just really nice to be there. You've got the Jane Austen tea room in bath as well. Oh. Oh. They all dress in Regency clothes and talk to you as if you're like Lord of the Manor. That sounds great. Maybe we'll add that in. Am I lucky? Yes. What are you working on right now? Watching last week's BTS. How is it looking? Good. Nearly finished. Very good. Very fun episode. What are you working on right now? A Lux Girl title. And how's it looking? Right. Just making some text so Eloise can animate wow, the video. It does look great. Like that, but moving. So much fun. All these images look great. Eloise yeah. did those. Yeah, I know it was there. <laughs> Daisy, what are you working on right now? I'll come shopping with you, series. I think Mango's looking good this season. Anything that caught your eye? Love a jumpsuit. Lots of lovely maxi dresses. Nice sandals they're sweet yeah some good picks thanks very much you're welcome i'm actually doing the email stats from last week they're looking really good we've got really high open yeah what had the most high street hits under 150 pounds what was your favorite one? Oh, whoa those really are like manolos yeah exactly there, right? they did really well so they're from zara <laughs> i really like this <laughs> Like What's your yeah. favourite hit? That's nice as well, the smoked yeah. tops dress at H&M. 17 99 And also swimsuits. Anyone's going away to Greece. Oh, Three can people. I go to Greece, please? I'm hoping to go next week. Why? Is it on the green? No, but I was meant to get married this weekend, but obviously I can't. But our honeymoon is still booked in. Are you going to be able to do it? I don't know yet. Fingers crossed. GB, what have you got there? You know the Kinder Bueno, oh, yeah. which vegans can't eat. Oh, no. This is the vegan version. Should we try it? Wait, you've got sent this to try it out. I'll try that. It's a new product. It's a vegan Kinder Bueno. It kind of looks like a Kinder Bueno. And it's made from... Oh, Oh, it's all in German. I can see Deutsch. Nine. Hazelnut. Hazelnuss. Zucker. Sugar. Yeah. Salt. Salt. Soya. Okay, some sort of man-made things with soya. <laughs> How's it taste? Good. Mm. Bueno. It's good. Is it as good as a Kinder Bueno? Well, I actually haven't had a Kinder Bueno. Good morning, Charlotte. Well, Collins, how are you? Yeah, yeah. Good. I'm that guy. <laughs> What's for breakfast? I'm actually trying a new product. <laughs> it's new to me. It could be really mainstream. This is Wolfie's Nutty Porridge with Honey. I saw it in Witches of the day. It would look okay. good. So I'm giving that a whirl. Do you usually have porridge? No, I'm not a huge porridge fan. But it's the perfect <laughs> summer breakfast, isn't it? Well, pre-COVID, yeah. I had like a real breakfast system, which I had like my entire working life. Like working from home for a year just kind of got me out the taste for it, you know? Sort of wanted to start from scratch. I'm experimenting basically with different easy options. There's literally oats, honey, whole milk, nuts. Are you excited? I am actually. I'm hoping. Summer breakfast. Summer well, it's breakfast. not summer, is it? Look at that. It was the longest day of the year yesterday. I wore a cardigan to work today. You're wearing a scarf. It's not a scarf. It's a jumper. It's a what? It's a jumper. How does the porridge taste? I've got to sit for four minutes. I'll let you know. I've got some fruit for my porridge as well. Look how civilized is it? I'm quite pleased about this. What's for breakfast? Coffee. Tea and a banana. Yeah. Not very adventurous, I'm afraid. Not adventurous, but a banana at the same time as one of those Nature Valley oat bars. I have actually. Yeah. Isn't that just a delightful combination? <laughs> it's really good. And that's what my boyfriend has every day for breakfast at his desk. Nature Valley and the banana. Yeah, like. It's a sandwich out of Yeah. What's your dream breakfast? Egg Benedict. Mine's an X Royale. X Royale. I mean, the the salmon. Salmon. Egg Royale. Hello. What's your dream breakfast? Actually, the other day I had this warm brioche bar, scrambled egg, turkey sausage, and like melted cheese inside. Turkey sausage. Turkey sausage. Turkey sausage. Turkey sausage. Turkey sausage. Okay. It was really, really up. Why turkey sausage? I don't know. That's what they had. Where yeah. did you have it from? Egg Slut, Notting Hill. Very expensive though. It's the one. Egg Slut fan? Yeah, yeah, I get the one with scrambled eggs, cheese, and chives, and sriracha. It is phenomenal. Hey, Rebecca Hall. Hello. Good morning. What's your dream breakfast? Sausage sandwich. 26 grains, massive bowl of porridge. Really 
cream, loads of toppings. I literally eat pickled nuts. At home I have it by the kilo. It's such a tiny one, peanut butter, nuts, compote. That is like my dream breakfast, really. See what you like and yeah. Lou Huff, what's on your desk? Becky has very kindly given us some Westman Atelier goodies because I'm obsessed with that brand. Who, who are they? Gucci Westman is a makeup artist and she has created her own line. Lip suede. Interesting. That looks really cool. A lush blush. Lush blush. And it's really heavy, which feels premium. Foundation. Dreamy. Ooh. iPods. <gasps> that looks lush, doesn't it? I mean, I'm a sucker for good branding. Squeaky clean lip balm. Ooh. Oh, that felt so nice. Oh, that's lush. I feel like this is a brush. Ooh. That looks lovely. Becky once gave me a brush and I literally sat for about three days just stroking my face with this brush. Ooh, a mascara. Ooh. The packaging is insane. That looks really good. Ooh, what's that? A lip brush. Oh, this is one I've been really excited about. Super loaded tinted highlight. Wow. You're not going to recognise me next time you see me because my face is going to be full of all this wonderfulness. Becky, I'm so excited. Okay. Any personal faves? Yeah. The iPods are a personal fave. Also okay. the liquid lip balm. Well, I like your one on, I yeah. really like that. The foundation looks great. Foundation. Sorry, what no one's mentioned is that it's all cruelty free. You hate cruelty, don't you, Charlotte? <laughs> don't you? <laughs> and that's what's on my lips. Yeah. Yeah. Like two down. Yeah. 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 Good morning, Louis Lewin. How are you? <laughs> Louis Lewin. Oh. 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 Wow. <laughs> Hey buddy, hey buddy. What's your ideal breakfast? What? A kibble? That's not my ideal breakfast. I was just speaking on behalf of Louis, obviously. <laughs> what if gold ran later in the day? Space things out just a bit nicer. I think it's fine to um, run that later. To run gold at four. Yeah, I think Georgie would say that they open just be down. The Lemishi podcast, I see you come through a bit. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, I saw the feedback. Really good. Yeah. yeah, happy days. Ready to go live. When is that supposed to be running? Today. I feel like that should be today. <laughs> Bishi should be going live today, right? I'm a placement of teams, no? Sorry, sorry, yes, it is. Thank you. Yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> what did you just do? We are having a bit of a scheduling clash for dedicated emails. Mm. I think it's a nice problem to have. So, what's the solution? The easiest internally is to move gold and run that on the Sunday. But actually, I think it's quite weak branding wise to move something that goes at a certain time every single day. A lot of people have activity that needs to run before the end of the month, and the end of the month is Wednesday. It's a bit of a jigsaw currently. I think it's I used to always call them Havana's. Oh, what's Laura. Oh, Viana, yeah. Sam. It's a banner. Yeah. I just want to run through with Georgie what we... Thursday last week. So sorry, what, what, who's this for? Alviana. Oh, right. Sorry, yeah. you say the word. We're obviously doing a video lookbook and a shoot. Going to go on to the show. And then it's also going to be promoted via a news story with the shoot. The parenting edition, wedding edition, a dedicated email, a couple of like daily edits, like a one week website like, takeover. And the video is the same content as shoot yeah how blocking no i think that's probably a bit on the nose don't you think i, I think, think it's, it's almost like how to wear them in the city to me it's more in the edit long denim shorts and a blazer or a t-shirt or something i don't know that you'd want that all to be toned i was doing the have i on a wedding story so i was going through instagram and i sent these as inspo for men but i thought these are really cool i'll forward them to you they look really cool on them so i'm looking at that skirt there's ah thanks i'm literally obsessed with it it's mega i'm literally obsessed with it Oh, that is so good. Holy mm. smoke, she is yeah, she's a cool location. I know. Mm. Oh my god, it's so much joy. How sick is that? Oh my oh god. god. This is like a boohoo advert. <laughs> oh, you nailed it. That was so Yay. cool. I love it. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Love it. Thank Thanks, you. Everyone. Okay, bye. Thank you, bye, bye, bye. Laura, what are you doing now? Maybe the calendar. Hi. Hi. I just thought, do you want to do calendar now? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm looking at one question to ask women. Yeah. Tablescaping companies to know. Yeah. yeah. It's more like rental ones that come to your house. Is that a tall of whatever? It's not bad. I'm actually doing that for a hen on the weekend and we've got Maison Margot providing all the tableware for it. Oh really? Yeah. Are they not just so expensive? Well, it's not too bad. Can we avoid all pyjamas if it's that uh, so unflattering to yeah. size 12? Maybe in, in general then, do you think it's too young? It is very product actually, that piece. Also Tara's been great so far. Oh good. Ideas for that girl, she's working downstairs with that team this week and she's done some nice design bit. Good. Also, time? I mean, honestly I had a Oh, wow. <laughs> so gritty. Yeah, it's good though, isn't it? It is, but I mean, it's really good. Oh, Josie, Josie didn't like it. Oh, it is gritty. Um, cool. Okay. Yeah, hang out there. Cool. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay, bye. What did you just do and how did it go? Going from the calendar? No, from before that with Javiana's as well. Oh, don't make me say the word. Just say flip flop. Okay. <laughs> flip flop is harder to say than Javiana's. Tell that to Laura. Yeah. Okay, I call lollipops chubba chubs. Oh, what are they called? Chupa chub? It's chub? not a chubba chub. I think chub I chub. called it that. I think I basically called it that as well. Yeah, welcome, guys. It's oh. a peen on a beat. Do you know who designed the oh. chubba chub? Mr. Chubba? No, Salvador Dali. What? what? 
works. What did you just do and how did it go? Just had a catch up with Georgie. I have a booking from Havana's. Uh, no, we have a booking from Havana's. Planning that out and what that looks like. And then we did our weekly calendar meeting. Has a glance over what the content's going to look like for the following week across the board. She seemed pretty happy. Good to go. So how does the calendar look? Great. What's the most exciting piece in there? High Street Hits. Isle of Wight update. Can't get abroad. Bella Mackie, my life and book. Veggie barbecue. What do you like on a veggie barbecue? Oh, she cooked lettuce on the barbecue. Uh, so good. Meringue recipe. Garden games. Turn your abs. Loads going on. Chop a block. Watch this space. Check your inbox. That's good. We're on time. Yep. So hungry. And before that, the Total Smoke Show. That is Lucy Watson, co founder of Sustainable Lingerie Brand, Revenue the Label, and all around style guru, is modeling the, the brand. Yeah. We're back to the Hello. Well, good morning. So hard. <laughs> smoke show. Smoke show. We're just yeah. picking the Hodgesons out of the script. <laughs> just watch out. It's renew the label, not revenue. Revenue would be a terrible name. Right? Revenue. Revenue. <laughs> revenue. For all your sexy tax needs. How are you doing, Winnie? Okay. I'm great, thank you. What are you doing right now? The intros and outros for the Lux Girl Show. Enjoy and add to that. Today is show day, show which day. is a bit different to how show day used to be. Show day really just means intros and outros for the most part. We have both Lux Girl and Shirlux in a little bit. So Winnie is taking the reins of Lux Girl this month, which is super exciting. So we're just doing her intros and outros now. We're just doing a run through. It's a big Lux Girl show today. A mega Lux Girl show. Favourite one so far? Yeah. Really excelled ourselves this month. Yeah, it's a really good one. Great lineup. Really strong content. Really excited that it's going to sit on the Shirlux YouTube account. Obviously, the Lux Girl YouTube account isn't going anywhere. We've just got a lot more followers on Shirlux, so how lovely for everybody to see it when we put all the hard work in. And we make such great content. I'm excited to have lots of eyeballs on it because it's a really good one. Are you excited about this episode? I'm so excited. Yeah. This is the one, right? I'm really excited. I just hope it does as well as I hope it will. Comment and do please share with the Lux Girls in your life. Thank you for watching and bye. Yeah. Woo! That was fab! Oh, you know, it was just perfect. <laughs> so smiley. Fab. Well done. Nightmares. I was like rolling over like. <laughs> what, last night? You know when you go on a night out and you get home and you dream that you're still at the party, kind of? Like that, I was in bed feeling like I was at work already. Oh no. No, in a good way. It wasn't oh, bad. Oh, good. <laughs> Like, I loved it. <laughs> positivity. I just love it. How does it feel to be Lux Girl Show host? Really great. I wasn't necessarily nervous. I just really wanted to do a good job because I love it. I hope people enjoy it and like can connect with yeah. me and the show. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's so fab. So what's happening now? It's my turn now. And what's um, on the Sheer Lux Show today? Fashion from Little Spree. Tours Wellness Roundup for the month. Beauty Hall from Becky and George. Mark Wogan, the owner of Home Slice. My favourite pizza maybe in the whole world. That is Four strong. Four recipes strong, but like I think I back it. I'm doing three things I love. What are the three things you love? This tablecloth. A brand called Les Ottoman. It's an anniversary gift from my husband. Cotton. Second anniversary. Well done, Ben. Well done, Ben. Not just a pretty um, face. The second thing I love from a brand called Ayla Swim. Do really cool swimwear. Good price point. Thanks. These pastel colours. Look how beautiful they look with my fluoro nails. Oh, so much fun. That. My parents were like, those Look yeah, I but know, like, but I love them. Power tacky. They've brought me so much happiness. Oh, no one could look bad in those pastels. And the third thing, rum punch, Cuda. Yeah, I think the branding is so beautiful. I'm a sucker for for good branding. It's really happy, orange and colourful and pretty and taste delicious. All been waiting for. Heather is here with her week in outfits. Give us a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye bye. I mean, nailed it. One take, Hollowitz. Sherry, Hi. how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good. What are we doing now? We're going to Tooting Market to try some tasty street food. Are you a street food fan? I'm a big street food fan. Haven't had in a while, so this will be a treat. Hey, Heather Steele, how are you? Good, thanks. Have you been um, there before? Not for a very long time. Yeah, looking forward to going back and try some food when we're there. When I went there, it was lots of little restaurants, a bit like Brixton Market. We have been given some recommendations by, I believe, Georgie's brother. And sister-in-law. So we're going to get juice, ding ding, brickwood, and v-belly. What is your street food of choice? Probably something called? Asian. Thai? Yeah. Like a yeah. bao bun. A bao bun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that thing with street food is that quite small, isn't it? So you can try lots of little bits and bobs. So guys, how hungry are you? I could eat. What yeah. did you have for breakfast? Some seeds. Some, some seeds, that's not some enough. No, I had some seeds, a few black coffees, a lemon sip. Oh wow, all the major food groups. <laughs> Thank you. Oh hi Karen, it's Sherry from Sherlock's. How are you? Oh, I'm good, thanks. Are you downstairs? Uh, we're just at the entrance to the market. Okay, fine. I'm Hey. How are you doing? Hi. Thanks for coming. Let's get cracking. Yeah, sounds good. Let's go. This is vegan. Oh yeah. And then here Liam does all German sausage hot dogs. What can you see? We're at V Belly, which is vegan stuff. I don't know what to go for. They basically got like all the kind of stuff that you'd want to eat normally, but sort of meat free. It looks like there's a fish finger sandwich. That obviously hasn't got any fish in. Fab. There's nachos. Burgers. Know what to go for. I'm quite interested by the fish banger sandwich. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? You okay? Thank you. How are you? Very, very well. The V Belly is a plant. Bay food center, arancini balls, which are shroom bombs, which are like super nice. A couple different 
bargain. Could I try the finger banger sanger, please? Can I get the bibab, please? Yes. Uh, can we try some of those arancini? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, no problem. Dibuda. We specialise in high quality German sausages. Can we try one? Yeah, yeah, of course. Can we do ding ding? Yes, we order from Ding Ding. Let's order from Ding Ding. Hiya, Pa. How you doing? Hello, hello, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. What's the best thing on the menu? A lot of people love the pudding ding. Pudding ding. Yeah, yeah, Yorkshire pudding ding. I just saw that. I thought that was a Yorkshire pudding, but I didn't dare hope. You're a Yorkshire pudding fan? Great. Should we order one of those? Three for five pounds. That three looks three of us. inspired. At a festival years ago, my ex-boyfriend had like a drunken idea of festival food doing roast dinner wraps, but in Yorkshire pudding. Gravy for donkey. Oh, I love this film. Why is it Enter the Dragon? This is a lovely touch. You can watch I know. Your, uh, wait for your... Food? Much like going oh, to the yeah. salon, maybe ready in a few minutes. Okay. A few minutes. Okay, cool. You want to ask which food like for dessert? Yeah. Let's go for it. Oh, is that pasta I donata? Yeah. Is that your speciality here? Would you say? Special. Just try one and chop it into three pieces. Is that okay? All right, no problem. I'll have a whole. Oh, okay, okay. Where are we now? Happy Tom. Why are you called Happy Tom? For fun, it's in this place. Yeah. They feel happy, not too much, but they feel very, very happy. They come back. Again. Should we test the theory? See if this yes, food makes yes, us happy. Got a nice weight. So well, how's it taste? Mm. That's lovely. What are you thinking? Mm, really good. Have you got a happy tum? Mm, I do. A luck is in, guys. A selection of our sauces. Our traditional breakfast, salted pretzels, Ooh. curry ketchup, sweet onion, German style mustard, sweet mustard, paprika ketchup, and mayonnaise. What are you going to go for? Mm. Mm. How's that taste, Sherry? So nice. That's so tasty. Curry it's ketchup's good. really good. Mm, it's okay. lovely. I'm gonna go for it. Thanks, pal. That's great. You didn't make any sausage jokes. No, sausage jokes are the worst. This is our Viva, Sanger, and she was in there. The finger banger sanger looks great. But you two should have your arancini. This is our own cashew cream aioli as well. Good luck, Sherry. Mm. How's that taste? Mm, that's so good. So nice. It's beer battered celeriac. We pop a little bit of seaweed in there as well so it gets that nice ocean feel. Oh, it does look like fish actually. How does that taste? That's really good. It tastes like a really, really nice fillet of fish from McDonald's. Yeah. So like a leaf. Mm, no, so lovely. good. Right, oh, Sherry, go it? for yeah. your kebab. Is it Satan? Is that how you Satan. Satan, like the right. devil. Yeah. 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 What's this Satan? What's in the V-Bab? Satan is sort of like a replacement meat. What actually is it? It's like a wheat gluten base not too in your face. You're eating Satan right now. Do you like it? Mmm. Sorry. It's so good. Tastes like a normal kebab. So tasty, but like a is it a Hiros or a Giros? Giros. Yeah. Yeah, it's got some meaty yeah, yeah. texture, isn't it? What was your favourite? The non-fish finger. Delicious. It'll be the kebab. I'm still going. Heather, where are we going now? I'm going to talk to Gloria, who I think had a shop here for quite a long time. A Gloria's, legend of the market, right? I don't think so. Gloria is like a bit of a market legend of Caribbean food and everything. Yeah, Great. I really love that. Gloria, come to have a chat. Come in. Nice to meet you. I'm Heather. This is Sherry. How are you doing, Gloria? I'm fine, there. What are your best sellers here in the shop? Everything. All the different country stuff. Vanilla, all purple, flour, butter beans, pepper sauce. Soup, mixture, syrup, all the French stuff. Do you make anything here? The other thing I make is coconut drop. What is in it? Is it sweet? It's coconut and sugar and ginger. Right. That sounds yum. Yeah. How long have you been here? Since the market been open. Really? <laughs> Over 25 years. Wow. It's my other home. It's lovely here. Great, thank you. Yeah. Ooh, it's hard, isn't it? Coconut, uh, yeah, I see. Sugar. Take some thank pass you. it on. Thank you. How's that taste? That's absolutely amazing. Yeah. So good. And thanks very much for having us. And, and thanks too. for the coconut nice drops. Nice you again. You must come back. Okay, you take care. Oh, no, lovely. What? what a lovely person. Wow, I love Gloria. I wish she was my mom. Oh, she was amazing, wasn't she? Yeah. Okay. So we are Ding Ding. This is the Ding Ding. Ooh. Ding Ding is a tram in Hong Kong. We are Hong Kong riches who's in food. Ding Ding is what in Hong Kong? The tram. The, the tram. tram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. I've been there. I've been on this tram. I didn't realize it was going to Ding Ding. It's our tram stop. It is our it's Miss West. Who's in food? British Yorkshire pudding. Cantonese roast duck. Crème fraîche. Orange marmalade inside. Poisoning sauce. We're going to try it. It sounds delicious. What a great idea. Did you invent this? Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Really? Let's yeah, go in. Look at that. It's like a little work of art, it's isn't it? Too good to eat. <laughs> Not true. Mm. Really? I think that's the best thing so far. Really lovely shredded duck. Really warm. Nice Yorkshire pudding. Perfect. Everything that you want in a little mouthful, to be honest. Heather, where are we going next? Sweet shop. What's your favourite sweet? Rhubarb and custard. Bonbons. Come to visit your shop. What's your favourite sweet, Sherry? The watermelon. Busy one. What about like nerds? Do you mind if we try a couple of sweets? Yeah, of course. I keep looking at the camel balls, but I don't actually want one. Wowzers. Camel balls. They're sour. Oh my gosh, wow. I've like got something. really sour. Oh, can I sour. try something yeah, really what, sour? What's please? the sourest thing on the menu? They have definitely sour. Well, not that sour. Okay. Mega sour. And then I have this. I do what's called my sour plume <laughs> challenge. When I've done it in the shop, I've had like mums and dads cry. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, you ready? <laughs> okay, I'll do it. So, this is the sourest this thing you sell? Is, yeah. Good luck, Mine Heather. A mega sour lemon plume. <laughs> <laughs> it's really sour. Mm. I feel like you all should have had one. Mm. 
Mm, I've been so good. You in for it? Thank you so much. No. I'm really scared. Wow, that's sour. Oh my god. Oh shit, that's really, really quite unpleasant. Whoa. I like it. You want to tell how old you are? You mm. see. You're too old for this. How are you being? Enjoying that? I thought it could be more sour. If I was being honest. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> you into that? Mm. I'm, like this is not making me happy. <laughs> no, oh. I didn't even touch that. The younger, they're more used to. What are you trying to say? I'm saying you're old. <laughs> well, I'm never coming to this sweet shop ever again. <laughs> The watermelon you've been looking for. Oh, amazing! I feel like I'm having palpitations after that sweet. How are you doing? You okay? Yeah. Where are we now? I get juice. And what is get juice? The juice bar. We do cold pressed juice, plant based food, doing free cakes. What's the best juice you do? Depends what you like. In your my, opinion. My favorite. Well, I make my own one with acai, Ooh. mango, banana, blueberry, strawberry, apple juice. Yeah, that one does me good. Can we find one of those? That's yeah, great. Sure. A connoisseur's choice. Yeah, yeah sure. What do you guys want? I'm gonna go for a Hulk. I think. Or a Hulk. Hulk. Green. I'll go for that. Well, I can, I'll different. go for lean and green then. Are you sure? Yeah. Can you we can. get one you recommended? Uh, the lean and green, please. The Hulk. Amazing, thank you very much. Yeah. Who's looking for something powerful and green? Is this me? Green? The Hulk. Oh, the Hulk, thank okay, you. Good. Goodness, good. this is full to the brim. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow, okay. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> I know, I'll probably do that. <laughs> Expert. <laughs> Swill it round. Very fresh. Okay, Heather, what have you got here? I've got a lean and green. Jesus, it's oh. lovely. Celery, kale, spinach, ginger, cucumber. Good. So that's the healthiest thing in the world, basically. Yeah, I think I need it after those sweets, to be honest. All right, guys, we went to Tooting Market. Yes. How was it? What were the highlights? The little duck in the Yorkshire pudding. The pudding ding. ding. The pudding yeah. ding. Inspired. Was, I loved it. Was it. Very good. East meets West. We love to see it. The bab, the vegan kebab. Yes, that was good. The veggie, and that was so nice. The non-fish fish finger sandwich was really good. I really like the sausages with all the different dips and stuff as well. The Portuguese tart. Oh, that was lovely. Remember that? Gloria. So lovely. lovely. Yeah. Everyone was so friendly. What was your pick of the trip? Ooh, that Yorkshire pudding duck. If I, I had to eat one thing again now and I'm very full, I'd go for that. Me too. Flavour like sensation, you know? It's Something good. different that you don't have every day. Ding, ding's it. Ding, ding. I'm going to go hard. I just want to do something for it, so over and out. Good afternoon, Charlotte Lake Collins. How are you? Good. What are we doing right now? I am taking the reins of Fashion Fix. Oh, finally. This, well, I did quite a few in lockdown on my phone with my phone in front of my face. Quite a lot easier. I'm actually, believe it or not, not very good at this. I find that hard <laughs> to believe. Believe it or not. Okay, this is supposed to be a pair of jeans. Oh, no. Put in here? No. No, that's not. Zara. That's not great, is it? Okay, this is all for Fashion Fix, but I don't have a pair of jeans, and that's quite essential. And what is the premise of Fashion Fix this the week? Three menswear items and how to style them. Borrowed from the boys. Borrowed from the boys. It's things like linen shirts, knitwear, and I've got a snazzy blazer, actually, which is pink. You'd never know it was boys. These are cool. Look at these. Oh. These are the matches trousers. Great. Where are they from? For Restless Sleepers. So we did a quick 90 minute delivery. These are actually even cooler than the ones I was going to do it with. Didn't tan quite as high as the slip goes. Oh no, oh, sorry, that's right. Look at this blazer. So much fun, right? How cool that this is men. What are you doing right now? I'm just going to touch up my makeup. What are the products you can't do without? Go to products. Cloud Paint. Cloud Paint in Puff. The one. It lasts for like eternity. It's incredible. Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury. Lip Cheat. Pillow Talk. This. Westman Atelier. It's like a gloss, but without being like a cringe gloss. See what I mean? Yeah, great. Just natural. How do I do this so I don't get that? I'm just going to look closer. Right? Hello, and welcome back to Friday Fashion Fix. And you've got me this week. Insane Barbie Zara Heels. And this gorgeous ASOS sequin clutch jazzy trouser. This has been my go to going out for a nice dinner look. Use men's oversized shirts like this to balance out some slightly more polished pieces. I hope this has inspired you to shop your boyfriends, your husbands, your dad's wardrobes. Have a great weekends and thanks for bearing with me. How did that go? That was fine. I don't really like being able to see myself when I'm presenting things, but I think it went all right. Which one was your favorite outfit? Definitely two. Yeah, I'm happy. It was good. Probably be so. What time is it? It's wine time. It is wine o'clock. Do you fancy some wine? Yeah, Pope Catholic. Yeah, what's your favorite type of wine? Um, oh, it depends on the time of year. Malbec in the colder month. Very pale rosé. Oh, wait there, cool. We've got to pick up our friend. Oh, pick up a friend. You can't drink wine without a friend, right? Oh, Maya, I've not told you this. No, Maya's yeah. coming. Great. Nice Maya, what time is it? What's your favourite right type of wine? Right now, rosé, obviously basic summer season, but I actually like red wine. Pinot you know, noir. It's very light, very delicate, yeah. delish. I, I like kind of like a full-bodied red. I could do two glasses, otherwise I'm like spangled. What right. are we going to do now? We drink some Han wine. What's Han wine? It's canned wine. Wine in a can. Doesn't that make it taste weird? Or? We'll find out. This is a very attractive van. Isn't it cool? Han X Sherlock's. Look at this. This is a very impressive wagon. How much fun? Yeah. What have we got here? Five products. Pearl rosé, like Provence style. Sweet up bubbly rosé, which is just relaunched. So Sauvignon Blanc. And then over here, Shiraz Malbec blend for our red. A Chenin Blanc sparkling non-alcoholic. And that launched last week, so you'll be one of the first to try it. What can I get you guys to try? My favourite is the Pearl Rosé. So what have you got there, Pauls? Uh, joking. <laughs> <laughs> Pearl Rosé. Oh, it's really nice. Yeah, that's really delicious actually. Yeah, I was yeah. worried that it wouldn't taste great out of the can, but it does taste really good. It's very convenient. It's like taking a whole bottle of wine to like the park or something. Three cans of those are a bottle of wine. Great. So it's dangerous, but also really good. Also, 
eco-friendly straw. straw. You look very carefully, it has unengraved on it. Oh my god, even better. Pause, 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 pull it out again. Do you know what this is actually for, this guy? <gasps> oh yeah, so I have oh a straw holder. Flick it around, yeah. shove your straw oh, in. That's actually a really premium experience. Is that yeah. Which one are you going to go for next? I might try the alcohol free one. I'll rose bubbles is lower alcohol as well. This is the non alcoholic sparkling wine. How's it so taste? Cool. It's sweeter, kind of like your posh apple size. Like Appetizer vibes, but like really delicious. Great. Big fan. What have you got? One fizzy and one still, but one's for Charlotte. Should we go for the red now, the Shiraz? Yeah. This is what I'm like most skeptical about. Red wine for me wouldn't work in a can. I'm open to have my mind changed. Twist it. Oh my god, that's so nice. Really? Yeah, that's my favourite one yet. That's surprisingly delicious. So I can and a straw red wine. Still great. Cash, what are you drinking? Pale rose. And how's it taste? It's good. Pale rose. In a little cute can. Looks cute. Got a matching straw. Mine, what are you drinking? Savvy beer. Delicious. Nice and cold, refreshing. Very good. Rosé all day. I think it's just a normal standard rosé, but it's delicious. Cheers. 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 See you later.